All right, Chinese good time. SKE UE 33986. Get it onto a tray. All right, let's see what we have here. Oh, interesting. Two bags. Yes, sir, yes, sir, two bags full. Ah, I think I know what this one is. Interesting. Ooh. Like I said, careful with the careful with speakers because they they grab everything. They grab everything. So I believe what this is is a uh, optical transmitter. So let me zoom out a bit here. Okay, so this kit here, I think, is the transmitter. It has a laser, so this will, uh, you will input sound, like you'll hook up this to an MP3 player or something, and it will modulate the laser, and the laser will be modulated, and then this is the receiver, so this is a, uh, a photodiode, and so it will receive this modulation and demodulate it, and then there is a, uh, amplifier that will go to a speaker. So there's a jack here, so there's a, so you input stereo into this thing, transmit it through the air, it'll pick it up over here and it'll come off the speaker. So that's pretty cool. That's kind of like uh, stuff I used to do at work. <laughs> uh, emitter detector systems, we would call this emitter detector. And it's a lot like fiber optics, except there's no fiber in between. But you're, you're modulating a, a laser diode and you're receiving it with a photodiode. So that's, that's, that's fiber optics. So this will show us how fiber optics work without the fiber. So how optics work. Well, that doesn't really work either. But anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> uh, nice little board, two-sided, FR4, very high quality. Everything is marked. And there is some Chinese writing on it, of course. But that's okay. Let's hook it up. Can't go too far wrong, I don't think. All right, let's get out some resistors here. There's only two resistors. One's a 1K and one's a 6, 620K. So this looks like a 1K to me. Brown, black, black, brown. We'll call that 1K. And this one is a blue, red, black, Orange. Sounds right to me. All right. I just had the cable repairman here. My internet had been flaking out recently. And I learned that it was their problem. Uh, The uh, system is overloaded. <laughs> Can't handle everybody staying at home. So he said that the local node was 92% loaded and uh, packets start to drop off and your internet goes bad. And he says they're gonna be replacing them in a month. <laughs> Great, huh? I don't know if I should ask for my a rebate on my bill, saying, hey, I get bad internet for a month. Isn't that worth something? Well, he did give me, he didn't give me a new modem. He gave me an old modem, which was interesting. He, out of the back of his truck, he, he found some modem that had some like grease prints on it. <laughs> and he said, here, he goes, this will fix it. I think it uh, has a little bit more bandwidth than the one I had or something. And. Anyway, it does seem to be better with his modem, so <laughs> I guess I'll live with that for a while. He was a good guy. 104, otherwise known as a point 0.1. Uh, 104, where's my 104? I put one in. Oh, here's another one. When it works, it's very fast. I get like a five, 600 on the speed test, but 
when it's not working, it <laughs> screws you up. Still no good upload speeds though. If you're a YouTuber, you want good upload speeds and this, this is about 10. Eh. Oh well, I just have to edit and it slows everything else down. So when I'm uploading, the rest of the household is not happy with me. So I have to upload my videos when everybody else is asleep or yeah, not. Not ideal. You didn't have to crawl into the house. That was good. Hundred microfarad. One hundred. That one looks like a hundred. What is this one? Hundred microfarad. The one over there. Hundred microfarad. Put that one under there. Ten microfarad. Ten microfarad. Guess that one goes here. LED and LED goes here. And the detector goes here. It is black, which means that our laser diode must be infrared, which means I won't be able to see it, which means I might have to pull out some of my optics tricks, but we'll see. We'll see how it does here. Bend these legs over. All right. Oops. Good enough. Yeah, I think this one will be fun. It's fun for me. It's interesting. Electrons, photons, what's the difference? Not much. Not much. All right, let's get into this. Push down, there we go. And this, oops. And get this one pushed down. There we go. And capacitors, I don't care. All right. All right, see that? Here's our, I guess the LED might flicker when it's operating, I don't know, or maybe it's just on, it might just be on. <laughs> That'll be boring, on. All right, so LM386, our friend, the audio amplifier, it comes with a socket. I'm not quite sure why these kits always come with sockets, but they do. I guess it's just good practice. Just good practice. At least it was in the old days. I think they found out that sockets actually probably caused more problems than they fixed. <laughs> but I don't know.
Now everything's surface mount, so there's no such thing as a socket. And everything's doing just fine. Right. Okay. Put our IC on. Because we can. Pin one. Oops, I bent a leg, crud, I bent a leg, oh man, oh. I need to unbend my leg, one of the, one of the problems with sockets, <laughs> so get them in straight, they're okay, but. All right, let's try that again. Try that again, make everything, everybody's happy. There we go in, there we go. All right. Okay. You can use the little terminal. These little terminal blocks, they must have a bazillion of these somewhere. They're used in everything. All right, there's one thing missing. Uh, one thing missing. This must go for the speaker, and then this is power, so this must be for the speaker. Okay. And yeah, it goes to, yeah, it goes to the, uh, so we need to put a connector on there for power. And it does not come with that. But that's okay, I've got one. I'll use one of mine. Just to make it easier to solder wires on. I'll use my blue stuff to hold it in place. I'll turn it upside down. All right. Okay. So our receiver is complete. Other than we'd have to hook up the speaker. Should we do that now? I guess we should do that now. Make a complete assembly. All right, so speaker, we have to put some wires on it. Okay. Yeah, good enough, right? Some of the world's cheapest wires. Guess that's okay. We will get about three minutes of enjoyment out of this and then put it on the shelf. <laughs> All right, look at that. We have leads on the speaker. Yeah, let's strip them back a little farther for the installation. So we will connect up our speaker. Let's see here. Really makes you wonder why they have this on a terminal, but why not? There we go. So this should operate. It says uh, five to 12 volts, so okay. We'll set that aside and start working on our transmitter. All right, so transmitter. Let's take a look at that PC board. 
It's very different. It's only one-sided. Looks pretty good, though. Um, so, 100 ohm. Okay. Brown, black, black, black. Sounds like 100 ohms. 51K. 51K is a green, brown, black, red. I can actually read the colors on these. I like them. There we go. I got a seat cover for my uh, SUV, an official dog, an official dog cover for your back seat. So he doesn't rip it up and it's waterproof. <laughs> Might be good. Might have dirty dogs in the back seat. Dirty dogs. We got him a kiddie pool for the backyard, so he's splashing around in the water outside. It's starting to warm up here, so give him something to do. Got to keep him busy. He's definitely at the point where he needs it to be kept busy. Going to have him neutered in a couple weeks, though. He's not going to like that. Maybe that'll calm him down, though. Who knows? <laughs> but it's time to do it. Time to get him neutered. And they'll put a chip in at the same time, so he'll be, he'll be bionic. What if I can build a chip reader? That might be a good project. Huh, look into that. Build my own chip reader. Read, I can go read dogs at the dog park. Mind if I scan your dog? Maybe that's a bad idea. We'll think I'm weird. <laughs> Of course, they might not be too far wrong. All right, let's see. We have a capacitator, a 100 microfarad, and there's no such thing. Oh, I put that one in the wrong spot. That one's 100. And I put it, oh God, I just dropped one on the floor. Just a minute. All right, messed that one up, didn't I? Yes, I did. So we will have to remove, remove this one, pull him out, there he is, and insert him in where he's supposed to be, over here. Okay. All right. No harm, no foul. All right, now I need to get the solder off of those there. And I can do it multiple ways, but I think I'll use some solder wick. I'm not really good at using solder wick. Let's see, where, which one do we want to take off? We want to take off the middle one there, okay. I don't know, I have mixed results. Sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know, we're good on that one. All right, so it worked easy that way. So like I said, sometimes I have good luck, sometimes I don't. All right, under microfarads. Some people swear by it, some people just love it. I'm a solder sucker person, I like solder suckers or desoldering tools. Kind of grew up on those. Okay, there we go. And we want a some kind of transistor. I can almost guess what it is. Where's my magnifier? It is an 8050. An 8050, and it goes right to here. All 
All right. Next week I get my second COVID shot, so I will be all done with that. I will feel safer going out, adventuring out into the wide world. That'll be nice. As long as bathrooms start to open up. It's the only thing that keeps me home. <laughs> it's hard to find bathrooms these days if you go on a day trip. Okay. Diode 1, jumper, jumper, 103, plus or minus, some strange things here. There is a an LED, I guess that's diode 1, we'll stick that in there, D1, right. I have a ton of frequent flyer miles and I need to use them. Me and my wife like traveling to London and I have enough frequent flyer miles to get us their business class. That would be nice. But I don't know when they're allowing people in. They'll probably say, no, you can't come. So that's not fun. All right, let's see if we can't get this in here. All right, my camera timed out, so I have no idea what you saw and what you didn't saw, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I guess I do, but I'm not gonna worry about it. That's it, I am not gonna worry about it. Don't sweat the small stuff, as they say. So. I think you can watch me solder all day long and it will look the same. Okay. There we go. All together. All together now. Um, all right. So I'm imagining this is probably some voltage as well. It <laughs> doesn't say what, but let's say it's something. I don't know. It's got some Chinese writing on it. Should we try to decipher this? Uh, mm, mm. Is it a different voltage than this side? It might be. Let's see if the LED here. The LED comes, so power comes in, ground goes to one side of the LEDs, and then the positives go over here to the Probably the collector of this, and they go over to here. They go to some resistors, and this, yeah. So I think any old voltage is probably okay. Let's go ahead and power it up and see if it flickers. Um, I need something that I can plug this into, though. Um, let's see. Right, we're gonna add a longer cord, and I will play my radio through it. Uh, where's a where's a where's a cord? Let's see. All right, let's turn on the radio and you know, I've been I plug that into the phones, plug this on and over here and let's apply some power and see if it does something. If the lights flicker, I guess we'll turn the voltage until the lights flicker. Huh? I don't know. Maybe that's a bad idea. Uh, 12 volts. Let's try, let's try 5 volts first. 5 volts has got to be safe. All right, 5 volts. Uh, positive, negative, and there we go. The, I don't think you can see that, but I can see that, uh, that's flickering a bit. Let me change the volume. I'm sorry, my hand's in the way. Yeah, there, see that? I've turned the volume up and it's uh, flickering more. I don't think, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it is flickering. I do see it flicker. So I imagine something's coming out of here and it's flickering. 
So now we need to hook this up. We need another power connection. So we'll get another cable here. We'll run it on the same voltage because we can. So let's hook it up. Plus and minus. Okay, okay, let me go wide angle. Okay, so now I have this transmitting here and I have this receiving. It has its power indicator. Oh man, my phone's going off. Okay, that was Comscast wanting to do a survey on me and how satisfied I was with their terrible service. <laughs> Okay, so what we're doing now is we're sending laser light to our detector and seeing if we can hear anything. So let's, uh, let's mount the, uh, let me get a magnet here. Let's see. Uh, that's too strong of a magnet. I have these really strong magnets. Let's, this is a good magnet to use. Let's put a magnet here and then I can stick the uh, speaker to that. There you go. And I can kind of balance this here. Whoa. What was that? Wow, something is uh, doing something funny. Okay, so is this all in camera? No, probably not. Let's see, let's fiddle with this a bit. Okay, so speaker, transmitter, uh-oh, transmitter. And we are transmitting because the light is flickering and if we hold this next to here, I hear something really garbled. Okay, let me turn up the volume on our modulation. <laughs> you hear that? Let me, uh, let me move my microphone over here. I'll put my microphone right, put my microphone right here so I can hear it. Hmm. <laughs> We're either over-modulating or under-modulating. Okay, let's turn up the let's turn up the power here to nine volts. Maybe that'll work better. Ooh, maybe not. There's no volume control on this thing. There we go. That's probably blasting you guys out where that microphone is, isn't it? Uh, let me move it over here so it's not too, too close. Oh. You do have to kind of get it aimed correctly, but not too much. Oh well. I can almost recognize the song. I don't think anybody's giving me a copyright strike for this one. <laughs> All right. All right. Enough of that. Enough shenanigans. Turn that off. All right, well, that was underwhelming, wasn't it? <laughs> it's got a concept though, concept. Um, it is minimal components, right? Uh, it's one transistor that modulates the laser diode and it's one IC that, that amplifies it. So, you know, minimal chip count, that's pretty good. Uh, you could probably send Morris code, right? Dee 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 dee. Um, but, Sending anything too complicated, I think it's probably not gonna work um, like music. Anyway, let's uh, ah! let's move all these over and we'll have one one last critique of it. All right, so here's the completed kit. Like I said, this is the uh, 
the modulator. This is the laser diode assembly. And this is the uh, modulator. Um, it's nice that they included an LED so it flickers as, uh, as this would flicker. It's infrared so you can't see it. So that's the, uh, that is the transmitter. All right. And this is the receiver. And pretty cheesy speaker. <laughs> But what do you what do you expect? I think this thing was dirt cheap, of course. Um, so would I recommend it? Well, uh, it certainly gets the concept across. Uh, it's not very uh, satisfying, but it does get the concept across that you can modulate light and send the signal to someplace else. Um, so it's good in that and good in that aspect. Um, it does give you a little bit of insight of how fiber optics works. You can imagine that that you could uh, get a glass rod or a plastic rod or something and shine the laser and it would bounce bounce around inside that rod and come out over here over here and uh, get received but yeah i don't know probably wouldn't recommend this one but yeah i do it so you don't have to <laughs> <laughs>